we had a we had a couple tools before which i'll show you uh to simplify our assemblies it was kind of kind of clumsy uh but the new one is just super accurate and uh you, you couldn't get any easier there's no bounding box or anything you have to create it kind of just figures it out and of course in doing so simplifying assemblies uh makes your parts lighter to work with uh you know so you can have even larger assemblies uh, instead of having to go out and buy more ram and upgrade your computer uh just start using some of the tools in there uh for simplified assemblies and things like that and uh you'll have much easier time rotating and getting around in your assemblies and re when you're ready to make a draft obviously you'll have to take the hit to use the design parts but uh uh, in the meantime, let me go ahead and get in and show you how this is done. Let me close these up. All right, so I got an assembly here. It's pretty, uh, can't really tell from the outside, but there's a little, little bit of geometry on the inside. I'll, sh I'll show you what we're working with here as soon as it opens up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create a section through here. So this has, uh, the, the bevel gears got are simplified in themselves, but uh, you know, we do have a motor with the stator and all that and the details and some wiring and stuff like that. <coughs> so what I'm gonna do is let's, let's clean this up. So simple to do. Uh, under tools, we have a simplify command. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do model simplification. All right, so in, in, in the old days, we had this enclosure, we had this on a, uh, for the last release or two. Uh, so if you wanted to send somebody something you didn't want them to see the inside on, you could just kind of come over here and uh, create something that looked like a box, which would hide everything, you know, not not the greatest. So uh, the new one is the one right next to it, it's auto simplify. So we're just going to go ahead and just step through and just it's, it's a couple commands, pick the features that you want to simplify. Uh, let's go ahead and just window grab that as well and let's go done all right so now it's simplified we go ahead and turn on back my section view so you basically end up with a solid part i mean there's really nothing for me to do other than just tell it which ones to to simplify so even the nuts it took the hex out of the nuts for me and all that uh the parts still exist we have we just have another configuration inside of here so whenever you want to use these parts you would just bring it in and it's going to ask you hey do you want to use the uh, design or simplified part and just drag in the simplified part. All right. For those who want to send something to uh, a, a customer to work with that you don't want them to see your intellectual property. So you don't want to see the guts of this. I can now just say file, save as, save as simplified model. So it gives me a couple options here. Let me go ahead and uh, save as a part file, or I can save as a parasolid file. So that basically just saves a part link file with nothing but just this geometry the assembly itself still has uh, all the details and parts anytime you want to show them you just come over and just uh you can just turn off the simplified turn on your design parts and uh just hide that and you're right back into your assembly and anytime you want to go back into your simplified just tools back into simplified and use it